We've got the perfect caramel sauce just for you. Whether you're topping it on your ice cream or using it for your favorite dessert, we've got you covered. This sauce is absolutely delicious. Let's get started. Okay, first you need one cup of granulated sugar. And we're gonna put the cup of sugar in our stainless steel pot. And I find stainless steel works the best so that way you can see when the sugar turns the right color. Next, we're gonna pour in a quarter cup of water and I'm gonna turn the burner on medium heat. And we're gonna pour this in here. And I'm gonna take a wooden spoon. If you have a wooden spoon or a silicone heat resistant spoon, that works the best. And I'm just gonna mix this just a little bit until it turns like a wet sand. And with the little extra water, you can use the water and this basin brush to base the sides. At least this is the way I like to do it. So that way, when the sugar, if the sugar starts, when, as it's cooking down, if it starts crystallizing and getting stuck on the sides, you can use this to baste it. So that way the sh it doesn't crystallize. So you just baste it just like that to get the sugar off the sides. And you see it, the sugar, and it's starting to bubble and it's turning more, it went from cloudy and it's starting to turn a little more clear. That's the way it's supposed to be doing. And you want to resist the urge to stir it. And what you'll do is you'll swirl it instead. And you see, and I'm just going to take the basin brush and just dip it in the water and baste the sides so the way the crystallization, help prevent crystallization as the sugar cooks down. And we're going to do this for about six to eight minutes until the sugar gets to a amber color or like the color of honey. I'm going to swirl it. You want to be careful not to add too much extra water. Now say if your caramel does end up crystallizing, you can quickly save it by adding maybe a couple of tablespoons of water. Okay, so now you see how it's that dark, that dark ember color. I'm gonna go ahead and put five tablespoons of unsalted butter in. And we're gonna use a, whit, a metal whisk and we're gonna whisk this in. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the heat. And once the butter has melted, as you see, we're gonna use half cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna make sure that's whisked in nice and well. Next, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract just to help give it a little more extra flavor. And just a pinch or one eighth teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna whisk this in here as well. And it took about mm, 10 to 12 minutes to get the color I was looking for, the amber color. We're gonna just pour this in our mason jar. And we're gonna let it cool for a good 10 to 15 minutes. And it should, as it cools, it should thicken up. All right, and we're gonna show you what the caramel looks like. I'm gonna scoop me some ice cream. This is chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. All right, and there you go. That's the caramel. Nice little caramel drizzle. Doesn't it look good? Caramel sauce. All right, if you like what you've seen, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're gonna try this recipe. Also, make sure to check out some of our other recipes. We have an apple cinnamon swirl loaf or our latest video uploads.